being healthy is more than just not being ill. It's about our physical, mental and emotional well-being. While access to traditional health services is important, in reality, there are many factors that affect our health and well-being. Our individual actions and social connections, the places and communities that we're part of, the services that are delivered in our neighbourhoods, and the decisions made by local and national government all play a vital role in keeping us healthy. John is 50 and has worked as a builder for over 30 years. Recently, he's developed arthritis and is visiting the GP frequently for pain relief. Unable to work full time, he's become cut off from friends and colleagues and is finding it hard to get out and about and look after himself. Mira's eight and has asthma and chest problems. There are no green spaces within easy reach of her home and her school playground is by a congested road. Medication helps, but she misses school some days, making it hard to keep up with her work and friends. These issues can't simply be treated through healthcare. John and Mira are both receiving high quality professional treatment, but there are many other factors that affect their health and well-being. John's life changed when he chatted to his housing officer on a routine visit. She encouraged him to join a walking football group run by the local leisure centre. Slowly, he started seeing the benefits of gentle exercise and he began to enjoy being part of a group with his new teammates. He returned to work part-time, adapting his role to suit him with the support of his employer. And although he still has health issues, he's feeling happier and healthier than he has in years. As for Mira, after a campaign by a parent and teacher community action group, the local council decided to close the roads around the school during drop-off and pick-up times, improving the air quality in the area. Mira does still need her inhaler, but she no longer misses school as often because of her condition. The campaign also inspired the council's Green Spaces team to propose a new initiative, designed with the public. Everyone in the neighbourhood will soon benefit from more cycle routes and open space to walk and play in. Healthy communities are defined by much more than our individual actions or access to traditional healthcare. Green spaces, social activities, education and employment opportunities, healthy food, good housing and transport all play a hugely important role. To prevent illness and improve the health and well-being of local communities, we need to consider all these aspects and more. This is called a population health approach. In some areas, people, local groups and services are already working together to improve population health. This isn't easy, but by strengthening partnerships across communities, businesses, local government and the NHS, and with support and adequate funding from central government, we can make a difference. Find out what the King's Fund is doing at www.kingsfund.org.uk forward slash population health.